Testing, testing, one, two, three. How loud is that? I don't know. Hi, I bet you're thinking, that's exactly what she was wearing in the last video that she made. <laughs> cool! Here's the deal. My house was just recently cleaned today by my amazing husband, Kenny. So, the perfect time to make green juice is after your house has been cleaned. <laughs> so the counter was perfectly clean and I thought, we should get to juicing. Hello, beautiful vegetables and fruit. And then I've known for a long time that I wanted to do a juicing video and I have two specific juices that I want to do. And in my mind, I probably in every YouTuber's mind, they go, well, I'm gonna wait till a Saturday or a day that I have during the day when the sun is shining and it's gonna be beautiful and the lighting's gonna be perfect and I'm gonna portion out the food perfectly and all that stuff and so I've been really waiting and then tonight I was making my green juice and I was just like I need to make that video tonight and today was just the right time to make it and I plan having everything portioned and having everything beautiful and I'm like that's actually not what juicing is like at all <laughs> this is what juicing is like juicing is you got celery coming out, you got juice in the thing, and then you have all your containers, like, they're not perfect. Yeah, you can go to Walmart and you can pay 12 or $18 to get a bunch of mason jars, or you can just save some stuff that people have given you and use that. But my point is, I know I have to make this video, and I want to, so I'm gonna tell you the rough proportions of what my juices are but the really cool thing about juicing is literally sometimes I just go into my fridge and I go I have some of this I have some of this I have some of this I'm gonna throw it in a juice and it's fine the more you juice the more you love the taste of all the different juices all together the first recipe which is just green drink you'll hear me say and it's about 15 stalks of kale eight celery stalks two green apples, two oranges, one lemon, and about as much ginger root as I can possibly handle, which is about the length of the first digit of my thumb. What's really cool about tonight and pretty much every time I do green drink, I do it in as big a batch as I can possibly handle, about enough for a whole week. That's juicing twice a day. That's why as I'm juicing, I have it like, going into my sink. Like I said, juicing is not miraculous and classy and perfectly beautiful all the time. It is messy. Stuff gets everywhere, but we love it. I'm gonna make like a huge, massive batch. Oh, wow. Love that noise. Love that smell. Smells like somebody cut the grass. Don't stick your hand in there. Plunge. It might be kind of obvious, but each thing gets cut up or washed or prepared pretty much however you want and however will fit in your juicer. My juicer has a particularly huge mouth, so I don't cut my pieces super small. With apples, I cut those up just into fourths. Oranges and lemons, I skin them and quarter them. Ginger should be skinned as well. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there's the flavor. I just can't reiterate enough that you can put in this green drink whatever you want, or you can Google any kind of green drink, or maybe you want way more green apples and way less celery, do that. The original recipe calls for one cucumber. I don't know what it is, but cucumber juice, I just don't like it. So guess what? I'm not gonna drink it. Now that's different from having never done no green drink and suddenly you're grossed out. You're like, oh my body doesn't like it. No, find a green drink that works for you. You will find a recipe, but don't force yourself to eat a specific thing if you absolutely positively hate it. But let's say you love cucumber. This recipe calls for one whole cucumber if you, if that, meets your fancy, I guess, I could say. That took me a while to think of what to say.
cool thing to do with the pulp is to like zucchini bread, make different kinds of breads. Pro tip, put a plastic bag in your pulp container and then you don't really have to wash it that often. No, just kidding. I'm not killing anybody, I'm just cutting up fruit. One-handed cutting. Look at all them apples ready for the juice. And then, miraculously, the oranges and the lemons had peeled themselves. Just kidding. I couldn't do that one-handed. So I did it. It was me. It wasn't magic. Magic is real, but not, not today. Yeah, not here, at least, today. Round two with the oranges and the lemons. Oh. Oh, this is happening in real time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Haters say it's fake. Kenny's home. He looks miserable. It's so cold out. It's California. Cold. I'm not used to this. <laughs> now, I have all this juice. And if you do it in a big container like this, you're definitely going to want to stir it up before you put it into your other containers. Oh, you will learn. Drink it. You will learn as you make green drink that when you spill some, oh, it makes me so mad, Kenny. It makes me so mad. Moving on to the carrots, apples, and ginger recipe. Six carrots, four red apples of any kind. And same thing with the ginger, as much as you can muster, but hopefully no less than the first digit of your thumb. Are you bored yet? Time for the ginger. I forgot to arbitrarily announce that I was going to juice the apples, but either way, we're all done. Why dirty a wooden spoon when you could stir your juice with the knife that you used? Pro tip. So, being someone who drinks juice and juicing in that sense is incredibly fun, but actually juicing, as we've all learned tonight, is a very serious thing. And many times you will find that you may want to juice really bad, but you won't because the cleanup is one of the worst things on the planet. <laughs> I think the only thing worse than cleaning up after juicing is maybe going to war for a cause you don't believe in. So lovely people, there you have it. We have our carrot juice and our green drink. I just wanted to explain one more thing. I have these which are like a smaller size. This would probably be like a supplement to a meal. Like I would drink this almost like whatever is my drink for that meal. Whereas. A bigger full mason jar like this, I try to have this be my whole meal. Thanks for watching. I'm very happy that we did this and that we did it together. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah. I had total career damage, and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the bars full. Okay. And it goes all the way to here. Okay, you're still in the green. Once it gets over here, then it's like, all right, your your career's done. You can't you can't do it anymore. Okay. You're taking too many shots. That's man. so sad. He's got a long career ahead of him. <laughs> Especially if he keeps knocking people out. <laughs>